Now, Japan has launched its lunar exploration spacecraft aboard a homegrown rocket, hoping to become the world's fifth country to land on the moon early next year and aiming to differentiate itself by performing a high-accuracy landing. Japan has joined the race to the moon as well. Now, the lunar craft, officially known as Smart Lander for Investigating Moon or SLIM, also referred as the Moon Sniper, was launched by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. The SLIM spacecraft is expected to land on the moon's surface sometime in January or February next year after taking a long but more fuel efficient path. If successful, Japan will become only the fifth nation after the US, China, Russia and India as well. What makes Japan's attempt so unique is the fact that it is trying to pull off a precision landing on the moon within only 100 meters of a designated target using advanced image-based navigation. Now, an HIA rocket launch earlier this Thursday also carried an advanced X-ray imaging satellite on board as part of a joint mission with NASA. Here's more. Japan has joined the race to the moon. Early Thursday, it launched a lunar lander from a spaceport in the south of the country. It's officially dubbed the Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM. Less officially, it's called the Moon Sniper. That's because Japan's space agency, JAXA, plans to land the craft within 100 meters of its target site. Agency President Hiroshi Yamakawa spoke after the launch. Until now, moon landers land where they could land on the moon. But from now on in the future, we will land on a spot where we want to. And that is what we're trying to prove. Right now, the moon is getting to be a busy place. Some two weeks ago, a Russian probe crashed on approach. An Indian craft then successfully landed and deployed a rover. Japan's own lunar track record isn't great. Two landing attempts over the past year both failed. Now there's a lot riding on the new mission for JAXA and Japanese industry. The rocket that carried the lander aloft is made by Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, but the country's recent launches have been dogged by a series of failures, casting doubt on its space ambitions. Success this time would make Japan only the fifth country to land on the lunar surface. It would also bolster its hopes of playing a part in NASA's planned return to the moon later this decade. JAXA hopes the Moon Sniper will begin its touchdown in February next year. The rocket is flying as planned. We have confirmed that about 14 minutes and 9 seconds after the launch, X-ray imaging and spectroscopy mission, and after about 47 minutes and 33 seconds, SLIM, Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, was separated. I believe it's positive and a good competition where many countries and private firms are exploring to land on the moon. JAXA obviously wants to realize many things in that competition. What is different with SLIM compared to other moon landers from different countries and private firms is that it's got very high technology to land precisely, like actualizing it within a 100 meter distance. Until now, moon landers land where it could land on the moon. But from now on in the future, we will land on a spot where we want to land. And that is what we are trying to prove.